Glass jars are my favorite things to contain foods with. They are aesthetically pleasing. You will never find me refusing a free jar because I collect even if I don't have space. But I want to explain all my jars purposes. So I have a lot of these miniature ones. They stack up together and they have an air sight an, an air tight seal uh they're so nifty and i often well i use them to keep the excess ingredients that i use for uh the diy food mix that i use and if you're interested in that and what i uh feed my gerbils i have many videos but aside from storing the ingredients to the main food mix this honeycomb jar is what i feed them with when it's feeding time i use an even larger jar for the blended mix now from that jar i feed them with a tablespoon or 15 milliliters now, since this is only a portion of their food mix, since I am the one adding a division of ingredients so that it is a healthy, balanced, and within the guaranteed analysis they need, relatively large batch, and I store them in a huge container since I like to buy all of the ingredients in bulk so i can make as much as i want i can double the ingredients and the measurements i need uh, just to have more available now this container is massive so it looks like i just added very little but i promise y'all that this is as much as i'd be willing to fill it because otherwise the food would sit there for way too long and it wouldn't be good to store that food for so long i guess you can consider technically organizing their food with is a food scale now since i make my own mix i need one so that measures the ingredients and the amount that i need for me now this thing is so useful it has every unit you would want for your food and what i basically do is i use any old tub container that can just be capable of pouring in <laughs> food ingredients for me is the most interesting part or at least the most exciting to talk about so when you're putting the container on the food scale obviously it has its own weight so how do you know that you are putting the right amount of ingredients well you just do a simple click the container no longer uh, is considered part of the weight you're going to put in. If you take it off, it becomes a negative number. And when you put it back on, it's back to zero so that you can pour your ingredients and know that it is just counting the amount of ingredients there. Now, another one of my larger flip top jars, I store their flowers. I really need to refill this jar. Again, I buy almost everything in bulk. For these flowers and some herbs in general, I store them in here and sometimes I just sprinkle them around their enclosure. I do include it in their food mix, however, it's not adding any fat really. It's very beneficial. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals and so i really like to sprinkle them from time to time even if they are not getting their actual food on the breaks that they need they at least get something to keep up having vitamins and minerals for all the energy they have now besides all the fancy jars i also use these containers that are snappy i don't know how to i really love these containers as well i think the design is actually relatively new and they basically snap open and they can be closed shut they also have an airtight seal and i keep more <laughs> excess ingredients in these jars but i also keep some of their treats well technically some of the other tiny jars i have treats in but it also works for these and i do that now when i'm spreading their flowers or the 
herbs across their enclosure i use a teaspoon now a funny story or interesting fact about this teaspoon five milliliters is a teaspoon that is correct so this is a teaspoon but they messed up and marked it as half a teaspoon and it's not uh I can assure y'all that it is one teaspoon. I just thought it was funny. Honestly, I think it, that it just makes it more special and unique to me. It's just a little funky. Ripped to being called a teaspoon, this one is built different. Just something that is not wet in content to avoid them getting runny stools. I give them some dried herbs and I like to use dandelion. The whole plant and roots is in this mix and so I love this for them because it has a lot of calcium. I also have one that's for it has dried mallow leaves and yeah I don't know I just use these little tiny containers because they're super tiny and well the almost pulverized version of these plants uh, fit perfectly in them and not much else does. <laughs> now this next jar is kind of a mason jar type style thing <laughs> and uh, I'm honestly not sure what it used to keep inside of it. I just remember wanting the jar <laughs> and so I'm using this jar currently for things like their larger boredom breaker foods and currently i'm keeping macadamia nuts inside of this jar i also when i ordered the macadamia nuts i got them in this amazing uh string string pouches uh pulling pull str string pull pouch strings pouch it's also super cute, but I wasn't expecting... I completely forgot these aren't the macadamia nuts, y'all. <laughs> these are pecans or pecans or however. <laughs> but anyways, same case. They just gave me so much. So I'm... I mean, I still need to refill this jar, but I have to use one of those shell breakers because the shell is like really strong now some of the flowers that i get and mix together for their flowery needs are from zoom in it's originally made for tortoises and apparently box turtles as well as some lizards i think bearded dragons and well since i have so many now these are actually the macadamia nuts this time but since they are empty when i put the flowers in my jar uh they're still such a great a uh, reusable seal tight um, bag and so i just reuse them to keep things like these which i have way too many of so I also use and recommend uh, reusing other things for all of their excess things in general. <laughs> now, since gerbils need less protein than hamsters, I only give mealworms as a treat. And I just kept it in the bag that it came with simply because it's a very useful bag. Uh, it seals tight. And I'm not even joking with you guys just how much excess <laughs> ingredients I have. I have a lot. You've seen me put them in the reusable bags. You've seen them in the tiny jars. And yet still, their original package I've kept sealed with uh, very strong food clips. I really like using those food clips because they keep them safe away from insects, pests, and dust, and whatever else could get them to be humid, and that would not turn out good, but I have so much. Now, I also store their fresh foods in the same containers that I've shown before, and I store their fresh things in these. 
Now, normally I put a paper towel on the bottom of these because it helps preserve the veggies from melting much longer. I highly recommend using a paper towel in any container that you're going to store veggies in in the fridge with a paper towel. It really does save veggies for a longer time. And the last thing that I use to organize their food are beakers. I really love this. I originally got them with roses. I use it now to store the wheat and flax sprays that were homegrown uh, by your one and only Simba, who is forever part of the channel still. But apart from that, don't really store the sprays in any other place now because they're completely dry and safe in the open as long as it's not humid. Hey, Bibble. I didn't mean to scare you.